You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this online training by Crowder Agriculture. It is a great pleasure to have you on board. My name is Aroyo Andrew Sass, moderator for today's training on climate smart agriculture with major focus on sustainable vegetable production. Once again, I welcome you all. This training is organized by Crowder Agriculture. Crowder Agriculture works closely with private and public sectors in Nigeria, also providing services related to agribusiness. Our plans are based on practical and informed knowledge for farming and rural activities. Also, we advise clients on strategic business planning and performance monitoring service in exploring their options, benchmark performance, reducing costs, and increasing income. Also, we help to ensure long-term business viability through strategic business reviews. As an agribusiness business consultant, we map, we monitor, we survey market and family strategies for increasing sales in all kinds of agro products. Our team of business consultants have experience in delivering practical agro business solutions with detailed knowledge of all types of farming system. Our products and services include farm leads, farm leads, farming skills acquisition trainings and mentorship, farm mapping services, flood and erosion prediction services, e-agricultural and ICT consultancy services, agro cooperative and funding and support, farmers, agents, and representative service, smart climate agricultural consultancy service. Our service focus on profitable and sustainable farming system that follows the best practice and commercial principles of business. Soil, hair, and the environment. We also keep up to date with government policies in relation to agricultural and investment support scheme. Please, these are the following housekeeping rules. Uh, please kindly mute yourself. When you're kindly mute yourself and put off videos, this will curtail any form of disruption of the training. You can tender your questions or suggestions in the chat box indicating your name in full, your organization, so that when you make a comment or ask a question, we are able to identify you. With this, I would like to invite the trainer for today's event to make its presentation in the person of Dr. Abdulaziz. He is a breeder by profession with broad knowledge on agribusiness. He is a master trainer on agricultural development projects and currently is the general manager of Agriculture. Dr. Abdulaziz, over to you, sir. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is my singular pleasure and honor to be with you this afternoon to present the timely topic on climate smart agriculture with major focus on sustainable vegetable farming. The major vegetable we want to look in is called Telephera occidentalis, with the common name Ubu, Iroko, or Apiroko, Ubong, Umi, and Umeke among the Igbo, Yoruba, Epic, Urubo, and Edo people of Nigeria, respectively. 
It is found in the daily diet of most families in Eastern Nigeria and has equally gained wide acceptance in other parts of Nigeria. The seeds and leaves are highly nutritious. It belongs to the family Cucubitaceae. The consumption, which is usually reduced during the dry season because of the decline in production has been improved by the use of irrigation. The seed contain oil of specific gravity, higher than palm oil, and it makes good cooking oil, and it is also suitable for margarine production besides the seed oil, which has high flash points and low pour points, can be used in the production of biodiesel. The leaves and shoots used as food and pasture are ready for harvest after a month of germination and subsequently harvest occur every two to four weeks. It is widely used in traditional medicine, especially as a hematopoietic agent. The ability of the plant to combat certain diseases may be due to antioxidants and antimicrobacterial properties and its minerals, especially iron, vitamins, especially vitamin A and C, and high protein content. The stem wastes can produce activated carbon. It ranks highest in terms of net income among the notable and common tropical leafy vegetables grown in southeastern Nigeria. Ubu is a dark green leafy vegetable which contains vitamins, minerals, and carbohydrates alongside carotenoids and acts as an antioxidant in the body. Also, compounds present in can inhibit the growth of certain types of cancer. Therefore, Ubu is of great benefit to man. The qualities are what made the vegetable superior to others. The fact that its demand is very high made it a very lucrative business opportunity. But Let's look at the SWOT analysis in Ubu production. The meaning of SWOT is strengths, weaknesses, threats, and opportunity. The strength is telling you why am I going into this business? Okay, why the weaknesses are the they are the uncon they are inward uncontrollable words, factors. Why the opportunities are things you can capture, or the openings, or the blockages that you can be able to meet, that you can be able to meet in the venture. Why the threat is the external factor beyond your control. Now, uh, the strength in Ubu production cannot be overemphasized. As our research has shown that Ubu is neither a perennial or biannual crop, 
And as we all know, it has a, an export value. Ubu can be sun dried, packaged, and export to different countries where we have um, our locals who take advantage of the dry ones to prepare their dishes. Ubu also have a high return on investment, okay, um, with commitment, dedication, and effort, you can be able to make good returns on investment with Ubu production. There is no doubt if you are cultivating uh, one to two hectares of Ubu, after eight weeks of production, you can be making millions of Naira from this production. Um, we will now be looking at um, the, the strength, the, 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 the demand. Yes, there is high demand for Ubu, both in the east, west, south, and even in the northern part of Nigeria. Ubu is internationally accepted, and it is very, very flexible in terms of um, production, in terms of storage, in terms of exploitation, and it is also acceptable across all cultural, religious, ethnic, among others. So the acceptability of Ubu has made it to be a good venture where everybody can venture into without limitations for any cultural or religious background. Now let's look at the weaknesses in Ubu production. One among the strongest weaknesses in Ubu production is irrigation facilities. You know, once the rains are off, that's the peak production period, they're forced in a longer dry season where without a water source, it will not become difficult for production. So for those people who might have gotten facilities to cultivate this Ubu, might not have the irrigation facilities. Or even if the irrigation facilities are available, sometimes they dry up before the maximization of the Ubu production. Among the strong weakness in Ubu production is our mechanization. Uh, so far, so good. All activities in Ubu production is manual. There has been no machines you know, to cater for planting and harvesting of Ubu. So this is a great limitation in its production. More so, the setup capital in Ubu production is very, very expensive. Okay? For you need nothing less than a hundred thousand naira to cultivate a plot of ubu. So therefore, if we are talking about cultivating a head of ubu, we should be talking about a million of naira. So this setup cost is among is one of the weaknesses in a uh, ubu production. Uh, one of the militating factor also in ubu production is bad seed. Okay, this can cripple the business from inception. Because uh, if it happens to purchase bad seed, so many things can happen. Firstly, you can, you can be faced with poor germination. And once there is poor germination, automatically there will be what there will be high decline in what in output. Or secondly, you can be faced with what with poor leaves formation. Therefore, you can uh, maybe after eight weeks of production, there are no available uh, the leaves for you to harvest to take to the market. Sometimes they won't stay to four to eight weeks without uh, having back your return on investment. This is very disastrous. So. Bad seed is detrimental to the production of Ubu. And um, among the factors, again, we have uh, the cost of seeds. Uh, Ubu seeds are very, very expensive, most especially during the peak of the production. 
where each seed goes for 70 naira and then have some decline during January, December, thereabouts. So you can see uh, if you are planting ogu in one plot of land, and this, the, that means um, you need not uh, nothing less than 200 seeds. By the time you multiply 17 error by 200, you know, you understand that it is on the higher side as compared to other seeds for crop production. So therefore, the cost of seed is also a weakness in Google production. Now let's look at the opportunities in Google production. There are a lot of opportunities in Ugu production, of which uh, if we pay close attention to it, is going to is going to help us in the long run. It's going to help us in the long run. Among it uh, is that we all know it is a very lucrative business. Ugu is a very lucrative business. Okay. So for those of us who are looking for a venture to invest in, for those of us who have capital at hand and don't know where to invest our capital, Ugu production is for us. Okay? We can gear our resources, our time and energy to invest in Ugu production, of which is going to give us um, because uh, since there's high demand for it, so the, the, the chances of you always having returns in, a, in, a, in, in quarterly, weekly, annually, monthly basis is setting. Okay, now let's look at um, among the opportunity in Google production is that um, you don't need a certificate for you to run Google production, okay? You don't need a certificate for you to run Google production. So therefore, it is incumbent and paramount on everyone who has the access to finance to go into Google production. With little guidance, you can be able to venture into this great business. And more, more importantly, Ubu creates employment opportunity. Okay, it creates employment opportunity. For those people who are unemployed, looking for various means of survival, here is a business for you to invest in. More so, if you are a civil servant, retiree, self-employed, among other occupation, you can have Google production as a side venture where you can be able to make some little income as time goes on. So the source of income in Google production can be sustainable for a very long time. Because um, it, research has shown that after the seeds of this ogu has been harvested, provided the stems are on ground, okay, and there is water flow, there is water inflow into the farm, they will still regenerate and produce more leaves for market use. So you can see it is very very sustainable, and it is also a good source of foreign exchange. Okay, it's a good source of foreign exchange. Uh, by the time you, after harvesting, you process, you package, you take it out of the country. Okay, it gives you a chance of having uh, different currencies, you know, like dollars, euro, pounds, yard, and what have you. So it's a very good of um, source of foreign exchange. Uh, now let's look at the threats in Ubu production. 
Everything around us is threatened, including the air we breathe in. So goes for Ugo family. Proper understanding of these trends and ways to cope them will go a long way to make the Ugo farmer profitable. I will state some of the traits, but in generic form. Okay, among the traits, we have diseases. Most of the diseases that affect Ugo leaves are airborne. Fungi growth on leaves is also a big threat to Ugo farming, considering that it is the major farm for its what? It's majorly farmed for each leaf. Among the threats to ugu production is insect. Yes, insects are attracted to good-looking, broad, greenish ugu leaves. It's not only we humans that know good thing. A simple solution to this is spraying a mixture of neem oil mixed with water this has proved to be highly effective. Animals and humans are a great threat in ogre production. Part of the solution is to create a form of barrier around your farm, though it might be costly, with little time frame, one will recall his or her investment. The barriers can be a fence block or welded iron bars. Lack of irrigation is also a threat, a very big threat in Google production. Because at the peak of production, once there is no water, everything tends to die off and there is no way you can help it. So it's a very big threat in Google production. So anything can happen, but it is better to be prepared, especially during the dry season farming. Make sure your pumping machine and source of water is intact. You never can tell what will happen along the line of production. Let's look at the criteria for successful Ugu farming. The following pointers are critical to success in Ugu farming. The target markets, good soil, water supply, wood planting materials, fertilization, and pest control, weeding, and staking. Target markets are where you intend to sell your produce after production, okay? So these are your potential world customers. Are you looking for off takers? or you want to participate in the market directly. As, a, as an avid business, you need thorough analysis of target market before going into production. The target market could be local or domestic markets, export or international markets, retailers, fresh vegetable stores, hotels, restaurants, African market and stores, etc. So it is very important you understand your target market, where do you want to take a product to? Are you going to produce fresh to the market or you produce, you dry, then you take it to the market, all will be determined by the where you are targeting. The target market could be influenced. This could influence your production model. Okay, you can either go for what? organic or what or inorganic depending on the preference of what of the market's demand however best production model for ugu is organic and integrated nutrient management system there is no doubt ugu needs a sandy loam soil which is rich in organic matter and has good drainage property and water retention capability. Waterlogged soil should be avoided as this affects its growth. Okay, however, wetland areas will be used with a raised bed to improve drainage. 
If you cannot identify a good soil, it is necessary you meet with an experienced consultant, farmer, or agronomist to help you out. Nevertheless, soil could also be improved using important soil amendments, materials, and technique if using the formula will be of better advantage. Seed is the foundation of every crop production. Okay? This entails how you press your seed, the source of seed, okay, the quality of your seed. If you go for a higher quality of seed, you stand a better chance of having good returns of investment. And uh, I will always advise that uh, if you want to buy your seed for global production, try as much as possible to go to the farm where the ugu is being produced. For this, we guide you on the morphological characteristics of the seed you want to buy. Okay? Uh, among the morphological characteristics you should be looking at is um, their growth habits, the broadness of the leaves, because they, 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 the better the broadness of the leaf, you know, the higher your market value for this particular product. So it is very important you go to the market, sorry, you go to the farm, identify the good planting seed before you establish your venture. However, if that cannot be established, you can go to a trusted seller who maybe over the years you have been, they have, they, 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 there is, a recommendation for his product and then gets a seed for a better production. We try as much as possible to make sure that the seeds are treated against fungi and insect attack, such as Trichoderma, Pseudomonas, Buvria, Biofumigants, of neem oil and effective organic seed dressers used in organic ugu farming. Conventional seed dresser can also be used. Treated seed should be planted in the field or in the nursery immediately. Fertilizer and pest control is very, very critical in ugu production as this helps to promote growth of the leaves, likewise, the seed yield. This should be done one month when the seed has germinated. In organic farming, after each harvest, readily available source of nitrogenous liquid fertilizers such as fermented manure extracts, vermicompost tea, or fish amino acid are applied. Weeding herbal slug, snails, and chewing insect pests that are minerals to ugu. Weeds may also compete for nutrients with ugu, especially at early stage. Timely weed control is essential and usually done with hand, hoe, or brush cutlass, as the case may be. Staking is important in ugu production, most especially if your objective is towards seed production. However, if you are going into vegetative production, there is no need for staking as, um, as this will limit the, the spray of the leaf you know, to give you high leaves for harvest. So if you are going for vegetative production, staking is not necessary. And even with the unstaking system, the, the ugu will still produce its own leaf because as it is part of the law of nature that every species who wants to leave behind a generation that will not make them to go into extinction. So uh, if you are not going for the seed production, staking is not advisable. But if you are going for seed production, you can consider staking. Uh, this is where we come to the end of today's presentation. In the part two of this lesson, we are going to dwell more 
on the agronomic practices of ovo production. This will now show you the do and don't in ovo production. And we are sure after you have gained this knowledge, you are going to smile to the back. Thank you for listening. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Abdulaziz, for this wonderful training section. Uh, this segment, please welcome questions. You can use your chat box to ask your questions while you provide answers to your questions. And if our venture we are unable to give answers to your questions, or attend to your questions, please send your questions to info at crowdang.com. Okay, thank you for joining us on this um, session on the Smart Climate Agriculture with major focus on sustainable vegetable production. Tomorrow is the part two of this uh, training. Please uh, would like everyone to attend this training because uh, the tomorrow training is going to be wow. Uh, please, there will be uh, a link sent to you via Crowder email for questions for uh, today's training test. Uh, I would like you to attend to the test that will be uh, sent to you via Crowder email. Tomorrow as well is the part two, so we'll still send uh, other questions for you to answer. For further information or inquiry, please send us an email to info at crowdang.com or visit our website. At this moment, on behalf of Crowder Agricultural Team, I would love to thank you for attending today's training. Please enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe.